Piers Morgan summons 8.2 million followers to testify to sue Meghan. The Sussexes put me on documentary without permission. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. Talk TV star Piers Morgan was left fuming today after seeing that he had been included in the trailer for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new documentary. The Netflix two-parter, entitled Harry and Meghan, has been described as ghastly by the former Good Morning Britain host. In view of his 8.2 million Twitter followers, Piers shared the trailer posted by Netflix. He captioned the clip, Breaking Princess Pinocchio and Prince Hypocrite use my voice to flog their ghastly new series. I'm traumatized by this exploitation. He followed this tweet soon afterward with another dig at the Hollywood couple. They already tell yet another lie in the first trailer with the Harry Potter paparazzi shot. These two wouldn't know the truth if it slapped them round their latte-encrusted tiaras. Not only Piers Morgan was taken advantage of, but even members of the royal family were thrown under the bus. They used old footage of Catherine, too. They should be sued. And using his dead mother's footage is disgusting, as she would be appalled and ashamed of what he's done to his family, especially William. They can't help themselves. Nobody hated them. They've turned people against them with their actions. As for the race, it's irrelevant to us. It's character and honesty that matters. Spoiled, entitled, ungrateful, and dishonest are adjectives that fit the Markles. For two people that claimed that they left the UK for privacy, they sure seem to be doing a lot of things to get attention. Their brand is getting tiresome. They are in a rush to monetize anything they can before their popularity evaporates. Harry is a traitor to his king and country. Boundaries do not exist in his new life. One day, Harry will realize what he's thrown away. There is no coming back from the place he's chosen to be. These two go on and on seeking out the press to line their pockets. And then they say, poor us were treated like Diana. It is fairly obvious the whole program will be filled with lies and self-serving bluster. Appealing to the fervent sugars in society who still buy their narrative and contribute money to their archwell source of funds. The same people will no doubt be just waiting to contribute money to them via viewing their Netflix pack of lies. How these two totally selfish, very wealthy liars have people in need supporting them beats me. Most of their hardship appears to be self-inflicted. And Harry comparing brash and trashy Meghan in any way to Diana, who was married to a future king, and classy is just plain deluded. Honestly, think these two are so unaware of their selves that they think this will make people pity them. People look at that god-awful monstrosity of a house they live in, their complete self-centered craving for adulation, and trying to be the big dog on the block they've been permanently alienating everyone. They think getting awards to validate their worthwhile big brother has the cash and cash to give out prestigious awards. The old saying is better to give than receive apparently skipped this duo's consciousness. Once the book and Netflix are done and gone, the Sussexes will be a pathetic afterthought with no family wanting them near. This whining narcissistic mendacious couple is still pursuing our home office and Met Police in an attempt to have taxpayer-funded royal protection when in this country. Equally importantly, he hopes success will gain his family's very important protected person status so that wherever they are in the world, the country they're visiting or living in has to provide publicly funded protection. I wonder how the Americans will enjoy picking up the tab for 24-7 security for him, Megan, and the children. I guess his thought process is that he walked away from the job and duty, but he never said he would walk away from the privileges attached. This self-obsessed, overly privileged non-entity needs to be cut loose 
stripped of titles and status, and allowed to slip quietly into obscurity, along with his cable TV gold miner. When the queen was alive and well, all military personnel pledged their allegiance to her and the position that she held. So just think about this so-called ex-officer and gentleman called Harry Windsor and how he conducted himself in such a shameful way to the late queen and now looking for the people of the UK to respect him and his actress wife. What a letdown he's been for his family and all citizens of the UK. Morgan has been verbally abusive to Meghan. Good for him. She has been abusive to our royals and Harry has dismissed all Brits, not to mention those two ripping off and misrepresenting footage from the Harry Potter launch. His and her truth is a pack of lies. Most of the people who will be watching the series or reading the book will be from the media and the palace. No one else with half a brain has the slightest interest in this pair of whining narcissists and would be much happier if the media stopped continually throwing them in our faces every day. The best way to get back at them is just to ignore them. Not giving them the publicity they're addicted to will drive them totally crazy. This pair wouldn't know the truth if it slapped them in the face. I hope our royal family hit back at them with full force. Harry and Meghan have had it all their own way so far. Let's start fact-checking these truthful claims and let them justify themselves. Needs to happen. Please do not give Harry and Meghan a platform with this release, as if you do, the public backlash will last for years, while these two disappear back under the rock they crawled from with their bank manager happy. In another context, something ironic about the defense of our monarchy, with the exception of very few like Morgan, is being led not by British media and prominent A-listers, but by the Americans, who fought a war rid selves of the royals. Almost all prominent American media personalities are piling on the grifters from Montecito for their outrageous dumping of that porn-quality video on our Prince and Princess of Wales. Apparently, our cousins across the pond are better at spotting fraudsters and shameless hucksters than are we. The key word here is unelected, as in, you can't get rid of them, you're stuck with the scroungers for life, and then another generation of scroungers is spawned, and then another. You're right in that they have no power, just unelected clothes horses who like to smile, wave from balconies, make small talk without ever really saying anything, and curiously never having an opinion on anything. They provide no real benefit. They're not the government. They don't make policy or anything. Like cardboard Kardashians, except the country funds our scroungers. What do you think about Piers Morgan's harshness when he discovered he was being used by Harry and Meghan in the new trailer? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you've had this, found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.